Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at making some of the rubber parts that we manufacture in-house for the Ferrari Daytona. Let's dive in and see how it's done. So we'll start by weighing out the first part, zero the scales. And then after that, we pop in a bit of color. In this case, it's black as that's how the mats were originally. You only need a very small amount of that. And we stir that in. So we'll just zero the scales there again before we pour in the final part. So once I've poured the two parts together, we've got about five minutes until this starts going off. And we've only got about one to two minutes until you can't really work it anymore. So you've got to act reasonably quickly, but you've got to ensure that it's thoroughly mixed otherwise you get streaks in the mold. Okay, so now that's been nicely mixed, we'll just tap it to get rid of some of the bigger air bubbles, and then we'll carefully pour it into the mold. So this liquid rubber self levels quite well, so just focus on we just focus on sort of getting it around the edges nicely. And then pour the rest in the middle. Scrape it out. And then with our stirrer, we can just help it to cover the whole area of them. Okay, so there we have it. That's poured, and then tomorrow we'll be able to pull that out of the mold because it needs between eight and 12 hours to cure. Okay, so next up, we're gonna make some door strips for the Ferrari Daytona. There's a finished one prior to it being trimmed off, but uh, we'll just run through the process on that. Each door card has five of these strips, so we need to make 10 in total. So let's crack on. So there we go, that's the first two done. In the morning when we pull the mats, we'll also pull the first two out of these and then we can make the next two. So join me the next day and we're ready to pull these bits out of the mold. So we'll start with the door strips. So you can see on the strip, you've got the uh, sort of false stitch line as the originals did. And this sort of excess edge will get trimmed off before these get stitched into the panel. There's the first two pulled out. We can now pour two more and continue till we've got the set of 10 we need for the project. So here's the first of the rubber mats. There's a bit of excess over there, but that'll all get trimmed off before they get stitched into the car. Let's go ahead and peel this one out. So there we go. There's the mat ready to go. Just needs a bit of the excess trimming off. And then we've got the, the other heel mat here. We'll just pop this one out. There we go. 
So there we have the original rubber mat that we took the mold from. This one here, although in a different shape, is what's available from some other suppliers. And this is what was available prior to us remanufacturing these. And then here is our reproduction that will be trimmed off and ready to go. So this video was centered around the rubber parts we make for the Daytona for the carpet and the doors. We've got a huge library in here of other mats and molds that we can make for various classic Ferraris. If you'd like to see some videos on us making some other bits, drop a comment below and let us know and we can do that. If you've enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe if you'd like to see more content similar to this.